man, the atmosphere is incredible. And this is a great example of having a motif, wrapping it up and presenting it to you, the listener, in two, three, four different ways. Yet again, I would expect nothing less from the Riot Music team. Hey there, what's up? Welcome to the video. My name is Azodi, and sometimes on this channel, we like to dive in deeper inside the songwriting and production process and expose some of the secrets to some of your favorite songs. It has been a while since we've done any League of Legends champion spotlight themes on this channel. Very excited to be doing Pike's champion theme, The Blood Harbor Ripper. If there are any champion themes that you want me to react to, please let me know in the comment box below. And without further ado, let's go. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Man, the atmosphere is incredible. I love it when League do horror looking characters, best characters. Yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. Man, so much going on so quickly. So off the bat, the emotion that the Riot Music team have portrayed is incredible. The sense of horror, tension, uncertainty. I absolutely love it when League do horror looking evil sinister characters. Evil characters are always way cooler looking and sounding than the kind of hero characters, right? I want you to listen out to something. All right guys, so I quickly figured out the main motif of the theme, have a listen. So pay attention to this note here. This note here is the note that really creates the creepiness. So if you were to bump this up a semitone and make it D minor, even though it's a minor chord, it doesn't have the same feeling. Have a listen. It still sounds quite creepy, but it just doesn't deliver the same level of sinister evil <laughs> like Pike. So if we put it back to the original, just have a listen to the difference. And that's one note creating such a shift in the feeling. You can feel the low strings and horns creating the sense of tension and darkness. And then just feel the anticipation rising. And same theme again, but a tremolo string. It's nice. So many ideas straight away. Same theme, it's great. Okay, new section. So awesome. And they develop the theme and idea here. Octave higher, nice. It sounds like there's one primary A, you've got the introduction, then you've got a primary A section, and then you've got the A section developed, and then they have the B section, to take you away and kind of introduce new melodic ideas, chords, movements, and all this sort of stuff. But when they keep going back to that initial motif, they present to you, the listener, in a new and different way to keep you engaged and interested. They do two things, exactly the same melody, but, it is played an octave lower 
and they've switched it from a harp sound to a tremolo string sound. It is exactly the same melody but presented to you in a new and different way. Have a listen. And they take it even further. So for the next bit, originally it's there, as you can see here, but they've taken it up a semitone. So listen to that in context to this. And sit back and think about the feeling it creates and the mood it's creating. Kind of makes you sit forward and it keeps it interesting. And it's all just stemmed from that one theme and idea that they start at the beginning of the tracks, the first thing you hear. And this is a great example of having a motif wrapping it up and presenting it to you, the listener, in two, three, four different ways. And it's a very creative and it's a very fun process. And yet again, I would expect nothing less from the Riot music team. Absolutely incredible stuff. Let's keep going, see how the theme develops. So new counter melodies ascending, keeping it interesting. Man, just feel the energy, it's just so great. This is the same theme again, but it's presented differently. Okay. Hmm. It's so exciting, isn't it? It's dramatic. Okay, stepping it up a tone, I think. theme again but representing the intro in a new way like wrapping the song up nicely <sighs> oh that was one of the more intense champion spotlight themes wasn't it what was your favorite part about that song for me i loved the way that they kept innovating and reintroducing the same idea but presenting it in new ways, in such subtle, creative ways, just to keep you interested. If you are a music producer and songwriter, we have a great community on Discord full of K-pop songwriters, producers, mix engineers, and we also play League of Legends from time to time. If you want more reactions that dive in deeper, please hit that subscribe button as it really helps this channel out. And I will catch you again soon. Thanks.